Hey guys, today we are reading a book called Boy, and this is written by Phil Cummings and Shane Devries. And it's funny, you can see where it's been colored on, so it must be a good one. <laughs> Once there was a king who lived high on a hill. His castle looked over to the valley, over the valley to the mountains beyond. He was a powerful man with many brave knights. Do you see the knights? Yes. yes. The mountains were once rich with trees, but a powerful dragon had destroyed much of the forest with his fiery breath. In a small village on the edge of the burned forest lived Boy. Boy couldn't hear, but he was happy. He spoke with dancing hands and he drew pictures for people in the sand. His parents loved his stories, but the villagers didn't understand. What a strange child, they would say as they walked by. Roar, charge, cling, clong, clang. What's happening? They're fighting. They're fighting the dragon. Since the forest had been burned, the king and the dragon had fought many fierce battles. There was roaring, flapping, running around, hiding, dodging, weaving, and a lot of shouting. Boy could not hear the battle cries, but he had seen the fear in his mother's eyes and felt it in his father's hands when he held him close. The battles were loud and long, but no one ever won. One day, when the king and the dragon were battling once more, Boy ran right into the middle of it all. The knights were stunned. Move, they shouted. Get out of the way, Boy, ordered the king. Roar, bellowed the, the dragon. But of course, Boy could not hear them. Flames flared from the dragon's nostrils. The knights waved their swords frantically as they marched over to Boy. Why aren't you listening, shouted the king. Boy was surprised when he looked up and saw them all. He watched them for a moment and then made his hands dance. The knights were flabbergasted. The king was puzzled. The dragon was mystified. Boy could see that they did not understand him. So he took a sword and wrote in the sand, why are you fighting? There was silence until suddenly the king pointed to the dragon. He started it, he cried. He burned our forest. The dragon shook his head. It was an accident, he roared. I sneezed a fireball into the trees. I came to say sorry, but your knights, your knights chased me away. The knights pointed to the king. He told us to, they cried. The king looked up at the dragon. Well, I thought you were coming to take my castle, he said. Your castle is far too small for me, the dragon replied. All I want is for you to stop chasing me. I don't like being scared. Nor do we, chorused the knights. Boy drew a picture of everyone in the sand. He showed them how their days could be without fighting in fear. There was a lot of chatting and laughing. I promise the knights won't chase you anymore, said the king to the dragon, and you can visit my castle whenever you like. And I will cover my nose when I sneeze, said the dragon. Boy couldn't hear a word but he didn't need to. Are they friends now? Yes. They are. They came to a compromise. Back in the village, everyone was waiting to see Boy. They're all signing, thank you. Thank you. Do you know how any sign language? Mm, what I do. Thank you, they said with their dancing hands. The end.